Houdini is a 3D software developed by SideFX that is based in Canada. Even though Houdini has been around for a long period of time now, which is almost 25 years, it did not get its fair share of professional production projects such as VFX and video games compared to the other packages until the last decade, when artists and studios realized how big of a beast it is and started using it on the biggest projects to complete the most difficult tasks and to achieve the best and most realistic results. Its exclusive attention to procedural generation distinguished it from other 3D computer graphics software. Today we're gonna take a look at what Houdini is and how it is being used in different industries to help artists and studios work on their projects. Number 1. Film and Television Side Effects Houdini is a 3D package that can be relied on when it comes to visual effects production pipelines and it offers a fantastic set of features for creating visual effects or what is known as VFX. It can be used for creating visual effects and integrating them into live action shots achieving incredibly high quality results. Due to this it is being used more and more in live action movies, especially blockbusters. One of the reasons why Houdini is attractive is its ability to achieve high levels of flexibility and control to enhance both creativity and productivity. In addition to that, Houdini has primarily a procedural workflow that can help artists more easily respond to the director or client feedback with the ability to make changes at any time, even deep into production. Houdini can be used to create a feature film quality distraction effects with its advanced particle and dynamics tools. Actually, some of the best studios rely on it to work on blockbuster VFX using particles, fractured rigid body dynamics, and to create massive simulations using tools such as packed primitives to optimize memory and take projects to the next level. Houdini is also used by a lot of VFX studios, small and large, to do a lot of work that is usually outsourced from bigger projects like movies or TV series, especially in the last decade during which way more work for VFX artists became available because of the growth in the quality and in the quantity of CGI in entertainment projects. Disney is a notable user having employed Houdini in its Marvel movies, also animated movies such as Frozen and Zootopia. In addition to some popular TV shows such as Game of Thrones that utilized Houdini for some visual effects too. Some of the examples of Houdini visual effects in feature film Rise FX visual effects studio that worked on city shots in Captain Marvel and it relied on its previous experience in crafting a number of cities with complex buildings and distinctive patterns to generate a mega city using Houdini's workflow utilizing several procedural techniques to do so. With so many building pieces and the need for fine detail, RiseFX set to work in building a city as efficiently as possible. The building process started with layout and animation in Maya before moving into Houdini for asset shading, lighting and final rendering which was done in Mantra. For the upper part of the city, RiseFX crafted gross shapes based on the concept art and background buildings were achieved with scattering tools. Also, DNEG, which is a British motion picture visual effects and computer animation studio, was given a task of working on one particular sequence in Men in Black International, where the twins face off against the film's two heroes, Agent H and Agent M. DNEG solved the energy effects for the twins using Houdini, which came about via a combination of particle and fluid simulations. They started by investigating astrophotography of galaxies and nebulas, the most important visual difference between cosmic dust and early dust is the presence of millions of stars. They tested both particle and smoke simulations and found they could get the detail they needed with particle renders and the motion they needed from fluid simulations and they ended up with a sort of nebulous volumetric thing with tiny stars scattered throughout. Another example is Imageworks effects simulations for the super elemental and the surrounding tower bridge scenes. A lot of attention was paid to the lighting interaction from the various effects. In particular, the light cats from the fires and lighting had to interact with all the other elements on the characters and environment. They actually used pretty much every trick in the book to accomplish mysterious effects. They used particles mixed with volumetrics and at times generated surfaces along to evac these particles and volumes. Then lots of composition work was done to help add the extra level of detail. 
Using Sony's pipeline tools based around Houdini, Imageworks was able to quickly propagate the effects from shot to shot. Number 2. Game Development Houdini can also be a very good 3D package for video game developers, especially with the procedural approach, which can be a smarter way to create quality games and to achieve a great gameplay while meeting deadlines and keeping costs under the budget. Speaking of budget, Houdini offers an indie version for those indie and small game developers who can't afford the full price, which is a nice thing because honestly not all devs can afford the cost of the software used for creating video games. As an example, an indie game development studio used Houdini in the development of their game called Planet Alpha. Planet Alpha is an adventure that takes place in a living alien world where you have the ability to control the day and night cycle. It combines fast platforming, puzzles, and stealth elements with a unique art style to create a unique experience for players. Houdini was used by a team of three artists to create a large variety of assets for different environments such as jungles, deserts, mountains, and floating islands. They also used Houdini to model characters, generate mountains, clouds. Overall, they used Houdini's procedural workflow because they needed a lot of iterations and automation to make this project possible. Houdini's ability to create visual effects is not limited to film and TV shows only because it is possible to bring high quality effects into video games with Houdini's particle and dynamics tools. It can be used for prototyping, in-game experiences using particles, fractured rigid body dynamics, fluids, and more. Using Houdini's procedural workflow, it is possible to create large-scale environments and rapidly iterate throughout the project's life cycle to bring the environments to life. Also, one of the best time-saving options that Houdini offers is procedural terrain generation using height fields to quickly layer shapes, add noise, and run erosion simulations. Even though there are a lot of other tools that can do this job combined with the power of a game engine such as Unreal Engine or Unity, if you have Houdini at your disposal, you can quickly achieve realistic terrains for use in a game engine as well. As an example, Ubisoft used Houdini to help build the beautifully realistic world set in Montana. Their procedural tech art team developed tools in Houdini for fresh water, power lines, sand, cliffs, fog density map, and a world map. Using Houdini Engine, these tools were fully integrated into the Ubisoft Game Engine Editor so that game artists could craft the world using Houdini tools from the game editor environment they are comfortable with. The procedural workflows were used to alleviate tedious and time-consuming tasks to allow immersive worlds and fun gameplay. Also, one of the most important aspects of creating video games is cinematics, and with Houdini's rich history in feature film, it is the perfect tool for impactful cinematics and game trailers. Also, with Houdini's deep VFX feature set, powerful lighting tools, and the Matura renderer, you can get a high quality and efficient look development pipeline. Number 3. Motion Graphics and Advertising Advertising is a big market for studios and artists using Houdini that focus on this type of work. And in the same way that Houdini can handle the different entertainment projects, it is used to produce professional TV commercials for some of the biggest brands and companies in the world. Designers, animators, and storytellers use motion graphics to create static, interactive, or motion-based content that simulates audiences using powerful and compelling visual narratives using Houdini and its procedural node-based toolset. One of these studios is Megalis, which is a Tokyo-based studio specializing in high-end VFX. They created a beautiful abstract advertising for the Chinese phone manufacturer Xiaomi, taking the viewer on a journey from tiny to massive, all in one camera shot. They did this using Houdini's procedural workflows that allowed for quick iterations to power Megalis's creative process. Also, Unexpected, which is a post production studio in Germany that is relatively new user of Houdini for ad production, they put it to good use to create a gorgeous environment for this Huawei commercial featuring Gal Gadot. The video that the studio created was much more than a commercial because they focused on the environment and the car and some other things, which makes the viewer forget that they are watching a commercial. The team shot environment scenes in Iceland for two weeks, but later they decided it was not good enough 
so they replaced it with a completely CGI environment that was created in Houdini and the result turned out to be amazing. Number 4. Virtual and Augmented Reality VR and AR are interesting fields that a lot of companies and studios are starting to rely on more and more. Generally speaking, the purpose of using this technology is to create deeply immersive environments where audiences can experience the digital world with a new level of vividness. Houdini's visual techniques can be employed to create more content and to support the iterative process that goes into designing these virtual worlds. Even though Houdini is not the best when it comes to VR and AR, this 3D package can easily be used to build densely populated scenes also to optimize the content for efficient playback. I hope you found this video about Houdini useful. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I will see you in the...